Hey everyone, it's Anthony Ramos. Okay, well, Netflix and DreamWorks' animated series Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beast is back for its third and final season, and it's continuing to be one of the most inclusive and diverse programs in the kids and family space. Fans have loved seeing the relationship develop for Kipo's friend Benson and his boyfriend. Coy Stewart voices the character of Benson, and today he's joining me right now. Hi, Anthony, how are you? Good. Okay, well, first off, sad, final season, but all of these <laughs> things must come to an end. But I guess so. Right? With this show, you know, getting to do the voice, um, it's, you know, it's such a special show. What has it meant to you to be a part of, you know, really kind of these breakthrough moments, especially when it comes to these kids and family programs? You know, it's... <clears throat> It sounds cliche to say that it's an honor, but um, it, it really is an honor. I think when I look back at sort of the, the programs that I had as a kid growing up, uh, nothing even sort of comes close to Kipo in terms of representation, in terms of sort of lessons that are threaded, threaded throughout. And also, this feels like one of the only shows that I could have watched with my entire family and everybody so, sort of could have gotten something from it. And so, you know, when I first read for the show, I, I sort of I could tell that they had really big aspirations for this and what they wanted it to be. But being here now after seeing the season and after seeing how everybody has, has um, you know, been receiving it, I think they really just knocked it out of the park. And it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's an honor. It really is. So since the first season, obviously Benson, you know, with his relationship with Kikpo and then, you know, revealing that, you know, he, um, you know, prefers to, you know, to be, you know, other men or other guys, I mean, they're, they're kids, but, you know, I think it was done so subtly and it was, and, and the way that it was presented, I think, you know, for kids just to realize that, you know, being gay, you know, is just, an, just something, you know, it's just something, of, it's a part of us, but it's not, you know, the whole story. Um, what, what are some of the things that, you know, fans, you know, whether it's kids or families, have reached out to you or you've heard, you know, and you know, when they have seen, you know, your character's storyline? It's been great. It's been amazing. You know, it's, it's, you, you hit it right on the head. I think it's, it's amazing what the writers were able to do with such a sort of nuanced coming out scene. Um, and I really haven't seen anything like that in live action or animated. Um, and the way that it was handled with such normalcy, I think is amazing because it didn't really define Benson and it still doesn't. Um, it's, it's a shred of who he is, it's a part of who he is, just like it is for everyone. Um, and I think that's why it's so amazing because they didn't treat it as if it was a special relationship or as if it was anything different than a heterosexual relationship because it isn't. Um, and it was really amazing, obviously, for kids to be able to see Vincent and Troy sort of get this amazing happy ending in the end and end up together and they're owning a business. And so, you know, I've had a lot of DMs and, and comments from people saying, it's just been amazing. You know, my son, our daughter is gay and they, they love Vincent. Vincent's their favorite character. They want to be Vincent when they grow up. Um, it's amazing. It's so cool because, you know, that one, that one little thing can, can really change a kid's life who is, you know, going through that right now and understanding who they are and their sexuality this show could really change people's lives um, and just give them that confidence that they need to be themselves. And that to me is, is everything. How about a uh, Benson and Troy spinoff? Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm all here for it. I'm all here for it. Um, but also, you know, with this show just being, obviously with its LGBTQ inclusion, but just for, you know, showing people of color. And, you know, I really just think, you know, what has it meant for you to also just be a part of, you know, making those strides and achievements and, you know, animation, especially. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, um, it's very important to me. It's very important to me because taking myself sort of outside of my career, um, I am just a young black man, you know, and I, I think that it's sort of the same feeling I got when, you know, when Black Panther came out and, and sort of everybody really saw how amazing it was to have this black superhero story that so many, so many kids were dressing up as Black Panther and doing the Wakanda symbol and wanting to be him. And I didn't realize how much there is sort of a lack of representation on all fronts. Um, and so that, that it just it inspires me and I hope it inspires other creators and other people to continue to push that front of diversity. Um, because to be honest, the cast of Kipo, obviously, apart from the mutes and the colorful people, 
they aren't that different than, you know, your everyday people that you see. Um, and I think that's what's important is showing children and people that these characters and these casts that you go to, that you come to learn, uh, you, you learn to love and, and really become, they become a part of your family. Um, they look just like, they look just like you. They look just like your friends and family. They look just like everybody you know. And for such a long time in Hollywood, there has sort of been only this one color, one shape, one size, even in the animated world. And so I, I just think it's amazing for, for young African-Americans to go, okay, that's something I, I see myself. I feel recognized, I see myself, I feel seen. Um, and so the fact that I'm a part of that is just, is so cool. No, it is, and it's all about, you know, being different is okay. Um, you know, before you, you know, signed on to this project, I know, you know, you're an ally to the LGBTQ community. Thank you so much. But I know it was important to you even before you were portraying Benson to kind of be supportive and an ally. Why was that so important to you? Was there someone, a family member or a friend or, you know, an experience with, with something you saw on TV maybe that made you want to, you know, support the community? Yeah, I mean, you know, I have uh, my, my, my best friend of, of 10 years when we were like 15 or 16 came out to me as bisexual. Um, and, you know, I have a transgender sister. Um, and so those are just friends and family to me that mean that mean everything to me. And I think um, it's something that is sort of it's hard to understand unless you know someone or it is you yourself. And so I think before my friend came out and before my sister came out, um, it was always sort of this vague support. I support, I support, I support, but what does that really mean? And so once I sort of really started to understand how much it meant to my sister, how much it meant to my best friend and seeing those people that I love be affected by the way that the world represents them, the way that the world treats them, I, I just felt like it was my duty that anytime something comes across my desk that interests me, that can help that I, I have to be a part of. Um, and you know, it's 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 another program for my sister to to watch and enjoy and, and to feel represented. And you know, that that's that's everything. That's everything. What 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 was the reaction when they saw you and you saw the storyline? And were they like so excited? They were. They lost their minds. They lost yeah. their minds. They just thought, thought it was so cool. And and they sort of had the same reaction that I had, which is just like you know, I've never seen this before. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen it done this way. Um, and, you know, I, I still can't believe that it's me. I still can't believe when I watch it, I'm like, that's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Well, Koi, thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for being a part of telling this story and reminder everyone that Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beast is available right now on Netflix. It's season three, the final season. So go watch it right now.